Hey, happy campers. Todd here at Great American RV Superstores. Today we want to teach you a little lesson, tips, tricks, and everything about backing your RV into the spot and a few little things that some newbies may not know about. So when backing in at a campsite, you want to take a quick walk around the area that you're backing into to see what you're dealing with, see how even it is and the areas that, that you can park your camper. Always like to go ahead when I'm backing in, use as much space on the driver's side as I can because that increases your area of patio room. Once you've got into the area that you think you want to stay in, before you disconnect, it's always a good idea to go and check and make sure your power cord is, uh, is long enough to reach the pole. Make sure your sewer hose is long enough to reach the, the sewer connection. And another big thing is your leveling jacks. If you have a travel trailer or fifth wheel, make sure that those jacks aren't overextended. Also make sure that there's no obstructions for your slide outs whenever you're moving them out as well. Because it's really a pain in the butt to have to hook all this stuff back up again just to move the trailer six inches. So take your time right before you disconnect and make sure all these things are good. We've learned to make sure we utilize all of our space on that campsite. Look for obstructions that might keep our slide outs from being able to go out. Make sure our power cord reaches, our water hose reaches, our sewer line reaches, and our awning is another big one. Sometimes there's trees on the, uh, on the patio side, but as you can see here, we got a lot, of, a lot of space to be able to hang out and enjoy our camping trip. So click like and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you don't miss the next how-to video here at Great American RV Superstores where we bring the how-to to you.